السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين in the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى the most forgiving the most merciful we send peace and blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم his entire household his companions we ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to bless them all and we ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to bless us all we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unite us with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Jannat al-Firdaus. Ameen. The purification of the heart for a believer and for a Muslim is an important or a significant factor that determines the kind of person they are, that determines how they think, that determines how they behave, that determines a lot of things about them and that is why the hadith of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says ala wa inna fil jasad la mudgha idha salahat salah al jasad kulluhu wa idha fasadat fasada al jasad kulluhu ala wa hiya al qalb behold within the body there is a piece of flesh when that piece of flesh is good clean and pure the entire body becomes good clean and pure and if that piece of flesh is impure unclean dirty the entire body becomes unclean impure and dirty then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah wa hiya al-qalb, behold it is the heart. So from this we learn an important lesson to say, when your heart is pure, when your heart is clean, you become an entirely clean person, you become an entirely purified person. So what purifies your heart? So many things purify a person's heart. Your closeness to Allah, your five daily prayers, your adhkar, your tilawa. And every ibadah that you are supposed to do solely and only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would act as what would be through that or through them your heart becoming purified. And when indeed when your heart is purified, you have indeed won and you have become a successful person. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify our hearts. Today we've come to a time and era where there are so many things that is making our thoughts dirty, our thinking dirty, how we see things dirty, how we imagine things dirty, how we talk dirty, how we write dirty, how we do so many things dirty, how we dress dirty. Absolutely almost everything becomes dirty. What is that thing? I believe we know it is definitely probably something to do with the social media something to do with the internet and the entertainment and the industry of you know music and movies and all these things as the believers anything that is impure unclean and dirty we are supposed to be staying away from that thing the more you look and the more you watch and the more you allow your brain become used to seeing the dirty things and the bad things the more they become appealing to you and you begin to do them and you act them without even knowing even though they are haram you do them and you don't feel anything and it's it's though you've made them halal whereas they are haram and that is why it is important nothing evil nothing that is haram can ever become halal because everyone is engaging in that thing even if the whole world would engage in that thing it can never become halal. A bad thing doesn't become a good thing because of how people are engaging in it. Bad remains bad, good remains good. So if everyone were to be watching pornography and dirty movies and dirty things, it doesn't become halal for you. It's still wrong. You can and must be the only one different. You must be the outstanding one. It is you and Allah, not you and the people. It is you and Allah, not you and what the people are doing. It is you and Allah, not you and what the people say. Ikara'a kitabak kafa binafsika liyawma alayka hasiba. Read your own book sufficient. Are you or you are as a witness against your own self? Today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Nobody is going to be there for you. يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ لِكُلِّ مِرْءٍ مِّنْهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ شَعَنُ يَغْنِي Subhanallah, that day, every single person is going to face themselves. 
You're not going to be after anybody. You won't be defending nobody. You won't be doing anything. Nothing is going to happen. You would be focused on yourself. Your mom has nothing to do with you. Your dad has nothing to do with you. Your brother, nothing to do with you. All those ones you were watching the pornography and the, the dirty movies and doing all the bad things with, on that day they won't be there for you. Everybody would be facing his task and his load. What a powerful day. What a powerful day. وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُزْلَمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear the day you shall be returning to your Lord. Subhanallah. وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثُمَّ تُوَفَى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُزْلَمُونَ And every soul shall be paid what it earned and no one shall be wronged. Wow, a powerful day we would be returning to Allah. What day is that? We would die surely one day. And the angels of death will come and they will take me, they will take you. Whether you are ready, whether you are not ready, we have to go. That is why life is very simple. Live a simple life, live a humble life, know what you are doing, know why you are here. وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have not created mankind nor jinn kind except so that they worship me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so that they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the primary thing. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us. Anything besides this comes thereafter. That is why Allah first. Allah first is a policy for every Muslim, every believer. Whatever you are doing, whatever you are thinking, wherever you are, Allah first. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar min kulli shay'in. Allah is the greatest. Greater than everything and anything. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. So the, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, he really deserves that we, we spend time solely for his worship, engaging in his worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار الله سبحانه وتعالى سيز إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب Indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the turning of the day and night are signs for those who have intellect those with sound intellect الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم those who remember Allah who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whilst standing while sitting and whilst lying on their side ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض and they ponder upon the creation ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض they ponder upon the creation of the heavens and the earth and they say, Rabbana ma khalaqata hadha baathila. Oh, our Lord, you have not created this for nothing. You have not created this in vain. Subhanak faqina azaban nar. Glorified are you. Protect us from the punishment of the hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So, these are the type of people. These are the true believers thinking pondering upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل اللي رعيته خاشعا سبحان الله متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكروا سبحان الله if the Quran were to be revealed on the mountains they would have come crushing down humbling themselves Subhanallah. Why? Because of the Quran, the weight of it, the value of it. Today we read the Quran, we see the Quran, we don't open it, we don't read it. When, when, when it's read, we, when we hear it, we don't feel no nothing in us. We don't feel, you know, there is some connection. You're supposed to feel that. So really we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen us. 
and to grant us goodness, purity of the heart, purification of the heart, to strengthen our iman, to grant us the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to forgive us wherever we've sinned and uh, really protect us from Satan and his trap. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد سبحانك اللهم ربنا وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته